Welcome to this channel. This channel is for education and culture based on historical and scientific evidence. So two days ago, I shared the YouTube, which present that the core of the Chinese military art or martial arts is momentum. So the uniqueness of uh, Chinese culture is how to make use of momentum. Yes, momentum is as uh, defined in the physics. That is momentum. Okay. That's what it is. Now, we have to be careful when we look into uh, traditional Chinese martial arts. Usually in traditional Chinese martial arts, there is two parts of uh, the Chinese traditional martial arts. One is it is for self-defense. Well, that is the gentle way or polite way of saying for fighting. Another is for health. Well, that is a gentle or polite way of saying condition the body. So you have these two parts. So in terms of fighting, the entire thing is based on momentum. In terms of the body health, for the really basic is the training or conditioning of the physical body, meaning there's your bone joints, your muscle, and also your breathing. That is the core. So that's why it always say externally, you train your muscle, your sinews, and your bone. Internally, you train your breathing, your breath. So that's what it is. So for the fighting part of Chinese martial art is momentum. How you handle momentum, one momentum transform to another momentum. As what we today can see, it is uh, the combinations, okay, combo in fighting. On the uh, health or body condition part, it will be externally, you need to condition your bone, your muscle, your sinews. Internally, you want to train your breath. So of course your breath will include your inter abdominal pressure so forth, right? So you have this two. And uh, if you want to know about the details of these two, read my book, Decoding Wing Chun, which have the, uh, the, the breath conditioning, the training. If you go read my book, uh, the uh, uh, restricting Wing Chun, then you can found that the Wing Chun uh, short strike momentum and the, uh, the, the, the strengthen training, the momentum training. And uh, my book, uh, Kung Fu 1560, you will see more on momentum. Okay, those are details. You don't need the books if you understand what I'm talking about or you watch this channel. Now, so this is a so-called complete system. You have the momentum side, you have the externally trained the bone, uh, sinews and muscle, internally trained the brain. Okay? You must satisfy this both. Now you got a problem with uh, Wing Chun. Did you hear anything about Wing Chun train in momentum and combo? Or what type of uh, momentum is uh, short strike is about? Even you watch movie, 
you never heard about it, you never see anything about it, right? Only hand techniques. In Wing Chun, have you seen anybody talk about internally train the breathing? Externally train the uh, sinews, the muscle and the bone? You don't either. So in Wing Chun, you always heard about train your structure, train your uh, hand techniques, and uh, mind power, or somebody take the idea from uh, Tai Chi, say, well, yeah, Chi internal, but you look it, at it clearly, closely, it doesn't cover what I just shared with you on the proper traditional Chinese martial art. Yet, if you look into like MMA, like uh, <coughs> Western boxing, like uh, Kyokushin Karate, you see they have these two parts, the momentum part and the, the body conditioning part. So with that, you can predict that the Wing Chun, what you see today, or your Tai Chi you see today, is not going to be able to face MMA or Western boxing or Kyokushin, the combat sport. Because it, it is no longer traditional Chinese martial arts. It is something which is created when people say for self-defense or this and that, this very limited narrow view where that present. Okay. So due to I share this, I got uh, many message and that's why today I want to share more for you, with you. I have a, a, a few messages come to me and uh, this one is like a sample, a summarize of what people complain to me. The first thing this is saying that I have always asked questions to my instructor, but they always went shut up and go do your work out or do your training, number one. And the second thing is when the student point out the hand techniques is not usable in the real life, the answer always is in the reality, Wing Chun fight a different way. So again, the question is that why do you train something you never use it for fight? And do you train the way, the different way? So what is the different way which you use in fight, which is your train? Well, there's no answer. And then uh, some is asking their teacher saying that the Tan Pong folk uh, with the structure, it is really clumsy, it doesn't work. And again, the answer is, oh, because uh, this is to train your internal energy, the proper hand techniques, and train the legs. Well, this is a disaster. As I have just now shared with you, these things do not match the traditional Chinese martial arts momentum based type of training. So, Let's take 
the so-called structure of Wing Chun today, like in Siu Lim Tao, everybody doing structure and doing hand techniques, you know, like people complain there. You know, that is a disaster. You know what the structure and uh, the, the so-called hand techniques like you practice in Siu Lim Tao, all the Siu Lim Tao, okay, which is uh, today you can see. You know what is that? That do you want to become a wooden dummy where you have a dummy trunk and then fit fix your your hand there? Do you want to be a wooden dummy? If you want to be a to become a wooden dummy, then you train that way. Your structure is your trunk, so you train your structure so much enough that you become the wooden dummy because you have the wooden trunk strong pin into the ground ground into the ground and people can push it and then the hand is just in the you know fixed to the wooden dummy have this degree that degree have to do this way that way So your structure and your hand techniques, this way, you train that way, your Xiu Lin Tao is a disaster. It is predictable. It is not going to deliver anything in the real life. In the what? In the momentum combo. And also in the body conditioning. Because you think about it, if you if you train your Siu Tao set or your training of structure or hand techniques so much that you turn into a wooden dummy, then you just are uh, clumsy and rigid. While in momentum, those are not useful. It's not support the combination, the combo. And also, on the other hand, it got nothing to do with externally train your <coughs> physical, which is your, your, your muscle, your bone, your sinews, internally train your breathing. You don't have it. So the, the, the core of Wing Chun today, this regard of lineage, since past 130 years, is a disaster. Somebody have no idea on what is the uh, Chinese culture on martial arts, which is based on momentum and develop this thing. Well, you can argue saying that, hey, you know, you can uh, use this to fight this and that. Yeah, sure, you know, you go fight a, a, a young rookie or people who's not a pro, you can do it. Try to fight somebody who is a pro. Doesn't matter it's an MMA, it is a Western boxer, it is a Kyokushin. You see in the YouTube is enough evidence that that thing, it doesn't work. Okay. So, the body. Like uh, when you do Xiu Lim Tao, just take an example. When when you move, when you move your arm, say you do this, okay? Yeah, Tan San Fuk, those kind of stuff, or San Bai Fan. When you move this. You need to move this part of the body. Instead of like everybody is just doing a wooden dummy body and then doing this. You need to do this. Why? Why? Like in the previous YouTube. Because it is the momentum which determine how you be able to 
generate the force or to be able to accept the force. Okay, so it's a momentum. Momentum meaning your body. So if you sit still like that, you go with your arm this way, your body and your arm is broke into two pieces by physics. And also an example I share with you. If somebody grab my, my arm here, well, I can turn, I can do this. As soon as my body is stay here, rigid square the strength the power uh, the, the strength the force is only up to here if he's a bigger guy or stronger guy or he uh, exert force earlier than you you have no way to like uh, usually you turn your hand and then you do the chop you have no idea to do this techniques try it, to get somebody bigger or stronger grip see whether you'll be able to do it or not okay so what is the reality the reality is this techniques is correct but you have to move with your body so how is it it is this way using my body talk using my body talk that you're grabbing me instead of doing like struggle like crazy here the body is dead have your inertia it, it, newton's first law the law of inertia whatever stay still you want to stay still this is staying still this try to move you break this apart the opponent is strong using the entire body how is that supposed to work so he grabbed me right away i turn you see my body turn from this turn from here it actually twerking in the same directions with my arm that and also i change the distance that will get him because he had to deal with my entire body's angular momentum over here is just your strength. So that's why, it, it, come on, just, just don't do this. Then you say, well, according to the ancient Chinese, my lineage, my grandmaster, forget about it. You know, the Shaolin short strike, as we always show, you need to, train for the recycling momentum so when you do recycling momentum when you step out your body you see my body turn this thing is pulling it back and turn it up and then when i want to recycle this momentum back this turn pull back this turn out right so the body is talking that's how you do the, the recycling momentum. So the body is turning like that. So if you, I want to go inside here, this talking, this body go, the entire momentum is exerting out. It's talking. Let's Shaolin short strike. Now, if you look at Er Mei Shi Zhuang, because Wing Chun 1850, the body conditioning have uh, improved. Now, this this recycling momentum have been improved with Er Mei Shi Zhuang on top of that 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 that, uh, that 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 recycling momentum. So, in the Er Mei Shi Zhuang, there is something called the Tong Bei Jing. In English, it said, 
uh, shoulder or back penetrating force. So what is it? Meaning, when you exert strength here, you always get the support from this part. So that's why there's a training here. The left always get the support for the right. The right always have the support from the left and the breathing go with it. Okay. So the proper way is going this way. The body twerk. You have the recycling momentum. You have the the uh, the shoulder penetrating strength. That's the uniqueness of Wing Chun. In the long range, long distance. In the long distance, when you shoot in to 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 close the field in to close the gap. You have that recycling momentum type of uh, of momentum and the body and the breathing go with it. At this close distance, you got that uh, shoulder penetrating force or strength go with it, with your body talk. We need to know one thing. Short strike. Short strike. One of the characteristics of short strike is not standing there, boom, 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 or go walking like straight line, no. One of the characteristics of a short strike is you strike one way, the neck you always change. You always change your body. And of course, in the long distance, you use this the, the, the Shaolin short strike type of uh, recycling momentum. You always turn your body. Keeping, you don't step at the same place for twice. You're keeping changing like flow, like water. When you get, get this close, you are talking angular momentum. You never stay in the same place. You shoot him like this, the second will be like that. Your leg will in, your angular momentum will be in. So when you keeping moving out of your position for every strike, you actually take yourself out of the opponent's target. Why do I want to stand here to punch, to do my techniques? I'm the target. So it has to be, you strike him, the next one is here. Strike from here. The next one will come back from here. All this momentum, all this recycling momentum and the left-right penetration power or force. So force and then you generate the power, right? That's what I mean. Now, When you do this, like a wooden dummy or turn into a wooden dummy, how are you going to have those type of things trained, which is needed? That's what I just shared with you. So you can see everybody have, especially some ladies, uh, self-defense, uh, grab the arm, turn, and then punch. Forget about it. It doesn't work. You want to, he grab you, he smash him. I'm no longer there. I use the moment, uh, the recycling momentum. I use the twerk. I get myself away from the target in the same time because I have this twerking here with the momentum. He had difficult time to handle me because right now it is a joint lock for him. I'm turning in the position that he grabbed me. I turn into the position, it's a joint lock. If I try to like struggle like here, forget about it. Hope that you get it. No, go, just go, go, get your friend, get it, grab your hand. 
stand there and then doing this and all your techniques or standing like this. See, that works or he you grab your hand, you walk in right away, turn your body. And you're close to him and you turn this, your body talk with your arm in the same direction. See what happened to your friend. No, no, without that, it's the really simple. Your hand techniques and your structure doesn't work. So it's this. And it's the Shulim Tao stuff. And also, you look at in the Shulim Tao, it's always like this. Well, again, this is like your body is like a, a, a lock, a wooden lock. You just move your hand like that. So how is the real way to do it, the proper way to do it? You inhale, you squat down. It's not this. It's not this. It's actually like an eagle trying to take off, or like a vampire trying to take off. Is this, it is not. How the hell that thing works? And of course this will become, have to uh, combine with the breathing, inhale, exhale. So it's like an eagle flipping. You say, well, it's a crane. If you don't have this, this flapping, how, how the world is that clean? This thing? How does it work? That's why your, your, your body cannot be structured. You cannot be like that. That thing is lock your dead. And also you can see people doing this. How the hell does that thing work? Well, the real thing, how it works is this. You do reverse breathing, inhale. When you reverse breathing, actually the, 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 the anus and everything pull up. You actually uh, contract your lower abs. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. It's not like this. It's this, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. You see my body, how the entire joint, 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 support each other to shoot this thing out. See that? That has to match with the, work with the reverse breathing. Because this is a reverse breathing when you're going down, it contract this thing. And then when you shoot out, it drives the body out. If you don't do reverse breathing, you're going down like that, you end up going this way. But usually you're doing this, right? So, how is this supposed to work? If you don't have that, you don't have the short strike characteristics. Water, you can never step at the same water flow twice. You smack him from here, the next will come from here, the next will come from here. You are not sitting down there Try to grab him, grappling him. They make him easy to, to, to take you down. To take you down. But you smack him here, you turn and smack him another way, your leg attack him. Even he try to grab you, he's have a tough time. Because he cannot predict where you are going to come. As Chi Ji Guang said. When the opponent cannot predict where, where is your opponent, uh, your 
your uh, momentum. When the, when the opponent cannot predict your ne next momentum, that's called superb. It's the play of that. But, but you need to have this whatever I just shared with you. This is just really, really basic. If you train that way, people will not say, oh, I train one way, I fight another way. So, so if, you, if you fight another way, why, why do you train this one way? Now, if you say, oh, you know, I, tr I, I fight different way, then do you train the different way? And then what, what your body is conditioned to do that. That's why you have the recycling momentum of Shaolin short strike. You have the recycling momentum of this Shaolin turning, short strike turning. It is all in the Shaolin classic. This is fill in, shoot in, fill in. This is, as the classic say, from the toe to the top of the head, every joint spin to attack and to de for, for defend. And of course, the footwork is just you, you never step in the same place twice. When you play with grappling guy, you never step in the same place twice and you always attack his leg not like this and then you, you give people all this thing that is not my theory that's not my lineage that's what written in the Shaolin short strike classic which is influence Wing Chun, 1850. That, that's what, uh, if you read my book, Kung Fu 1560, those are inheriting from, uh, from, from Ming Dynasty, Qi Ji Guang, Tang Sun Zhi. <coughs> so this is what I'd like to share with you. How, how, can, how can Wing Chun go further? You look at today's Wing Chun, when they fight, sure, you train one way, you train whatever, your Xiu Lin Tao, whatever, whatever. You fight like a BJJ, you fight like a Western boxing, you fight like a kickboxing. Just call it kickboxing BJJ. MMA, don't call it Wing Chun, because you don't have Wing Chun. 